Learning is a lifelong journey. Whether you're learning to cook, solve problems, or manage your health, we're all learners. But what's fascinating is how learning happens deep within our brains. Today, I'm going to explore how learning occurs from a neuroscience perspective, why it's crucial for people with chronic respiratory disease, and how healthcare professionals can help patients manage their condition. So stick with me until the end of this video so you get to know the answers for all of those questions. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, I'm Devi Sundar. And in my channel, I talk about breath, mental health, and occupational well-being. And today, I'm going to dive into our, how our brains constantly changes and adapts through the learning. Neuroscience shows that every time we learn something new, our brain forms and strengthens connection between neurons. These connections or synapses helps to store new information and create new pathways in our brain, allowing us to master new skills and knowledge. This process is called neuroplasticity. It's our brain's amazing ability to change and reorganize in response to new experiences. Whether you're learning a new language or trying out a new hobby or adapting to a chronic condition like respiratory disease, neuroplasticity allows your brain to form habits and create new ways of coping. Now let's talk about how this applies to people with chronic respiratory disease like asthma, COPD or bronchitis. For these individuals, learning about their condition and mastering their self-management techniques is vital not only to maintain the quality of life, but also to reduce the overall burden of disease on both the individual and the society. Globally, chronic respiratory disease among the leading cause of death and disability, according to World Health Organization, WHO, over 235 million people suffer from asthma and 3.2 million people die from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, each year worldwide. In the UK, COPD affects 1.2 million people, costing NHS an estimate of 1.9 billion annually. The economic burden is enormous, not only due to the hospital admission and long-term care, but also due to lost productivity. Patients frequently experience flare-ups and emergency visits due to poor management of their symptoms, which in turn negatively impact their jobs, their finances, and personal life. In fact, respiratory disease accounts for one in five deaths in UK, making it a severe public health challenge. But here's the thing. Many of the hospitalization and emergency can be prevented with proper patient education. When patients learn about their condition and how to manage it effectively, they can avoid serious complications and improve their overall well-being. This brings us to why structuring a patient education program is not only essential, but also cost-effective. Structured patient education resources allows patients to gain the knowledge and skills they need to manage their conditions independently. By understanding their triggers, learning how to use their medications properly, and practicing techniques like uh, controlled breathing, patients can prevent their symptoms from escalating into severe episodes and that requires emergency care. When patients understand their condition, they're empowered to take control. They become proactive rather than reactive, using tools and techniques learned through the education to avoid hospital visits. And that's why in pulmonary rehabilitation, patient education is a major component in, in those programs. Studies show that self-management programs for chronic respiratory disease can reduce hospital admission by up to 25%, leading to significant cost savings. In terms of cost-benefit ratio, investing in a structured patient education is highly effective. For every one pound spent on educating patients about managing their chronic respiratory condition, the NHS saves around three to four pounds in avoiding the hospital costs. Patients who are well-informed and equipped with self-management strategies not only live healthier lives, but also reduce the financial strains on the healthcare system. So how do healthcare professionals deliver this education effectively? This is where applying the learning models like Bloom's taxonomy, Miller's pyramid, and Dreyfus' model of skill fixation comes into play. Bloom's taxonomy ensures the patients move through the stages of learning from simply remembering the facts about the condition to fully understanding and applying the self-management techniques in their real life. For example, patients first learn to recall information like what triggers an asthma attack, and later they learn to apply the knowledge by using an inhaler during an actual episode. Miller's pyramid helps us how well patients apply their knowledge and practice. It's not enough for patients to just to know how to manage the disease. They must be able to demonstrate it in real-world situations. Miller's pyramid takes from the knowledge about their condition to doing what's necessary to manage it every day. 
For instance, the patient may first learn how inhaler works, but they need to practice it in a controlled environment before they can confidently use it on their own during an asthmatic attack. This is where the demonstration and repetition comes into play. So what's the outcome of all of this? With structured education and right support, patients can thrive. Instead of living in fear of their next flare-up or emergency hospital visits, they can lead a full and active life. Patients who actively engage in learning about their condition experience a better quality of life. They feel more in control, less anxious, and more capable of handling their symptoms. The tools they acquire through learning, like understanding how stress affects their breathing or how to calm themselves during a flare-up, help them to live more independently and confidently. Incorporating learning models into patient education doesn't just reduce hospital admissions, it enhances patients' overall quality of life. Studies show that educated patients report better symptom control, improved mental health, and a greater sense of self-efficacy. They feel empowered to take charge of their condition rather than feeling controlled by it. Learning is truly a lifelong, and for people with chronic respiratory disease, it can mean the difference between surviving and thriving. Whether you're a patient learning to manage a condition or a healthcare professional, teaching these skills, understanding how the brain learns and applying structured models can transform lives. Thank you for joining me today. If you're someone who is diagnosed with COPD, asthma or bronchitis, with my expertise in respiratory physiotherapy, psychotherapy and neuroscience with over 20 years of uh, clinical hands-on experience as well, I put together a patient education resource for you empowering you managing your chronic respiratory disease through knowledge skills and confidence and that resource will guide you through every step from understanding your disease to mastering your daily self-management skills and the resource is on the way so watch off the space in this youtube channel if you found this video helpful be sure to like subscribe and share this video with someone who might need it and remember learning isn't just for school it's for life and it can help you live better and healthier until next time stay curious stay healthy signing off Devi Sundar